Good morning, this is Dylan from GSM Exchange. We're here on the second day of CBIT 2013, where the GSM Exchange Trade Zone broadcasting live from the lovely booth of the company from Dubai, Candance Mobile. Here with me is the owner of Candance, Mr. Ziad Candance. How are we, Mr. Ziad? Thank you very much, Mr. Dilian. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, I'm going to present uh, and ask a couple of questions, Mr. Ziad from Candance. Let's hear from you first. Uh, tell us a bit more about your company. Actually, we are basing from 2002 in Dubai. But also now we are opening a new company in Bulgaria. Very good. Uh, but <clears throat> we didn't keep our stock in Bulgaria, we keep here in Hanover. Just because we have a, there is so many customers, they are buying 100 piece, 50 piece. Okay. Also we have a, a big uh, customer, they are buying from 1000 until 5000. Okay, we'll go into that a bit later. So basically you're saying you have branches in Dubai? In yes. uh, we have in a branch in Hong Kong, Hong Kong? in Dubai. In Bulgaria, yeah, in Hanover, also Germany, and also we have uh, our purchase department in the Turkey. We are controlling all the Europe uh, from Turkey with our team, yeah. So you're based in Turkey, in Dubai, and you have branches. Yes. Okay. Very good. And since when you started this business? Actually, we started this business in '96, but we start uh, like the professional in 2002 from Dubai. And you've always been into wholesaling, not retail. No, we do, we, we, retail. Just we have a, because we have a, our main shops in uh, Nasser Square Deira, and actually there is. A, I have to explain also this one. Like in the day we are selling around from 1,000 pieces to 2,000 pieces in this shop. Like the people when they come they see they feel like it's like retail shop, but it's not, because in the day there is so many African customer also from Iraq, Iran, Qatar. They are coming. Someone they are smuggling. Someone <laughs> they are buying five piece, ten piece. Mostly they are Russian customer. They come by by bag, by hankery. It's what you're saying is in Dubai retail is as big as wholesale. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that every company looks small, but it's actually yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good. Yeah. That's good to know because Dubai is a very interesting market for everybody. It'd be very interesting for our customers to hear and to find out um, how was the year 2012 for a business, for your business. How did you see it? Actually, this year is better than the other years because now, actually, I can say just for my companies, for to company, what I am yeah. seeing, yeah. Because now we are in Europe, and in Europe, I see like demand it's better than uh, Dubai because in Dubai there is so many discussing prices dropping down. It's more stable market, Europe. Yes, and also we are happy, and uh, also I want to explain also for our warehouses in uh, Dubai. We are doing, there is a language, Russian language, Arabic language, Farsi language, and also we have a machine we do, it's the key bat, like uh, which country we are sending, because someone, it's like our stock sometimes is going from Europe, and they want to, um, the, our customer, they want Arabic, Farsi, or Russian. Okay. So and also can, we, we yeah. can cater for every. Okay. Yes, exactly. And that's it. I think this year it's better than the other years, 2012. I hope after the Sabbath also it will grow up because uh, we meet very nice people is here because of the GSM exchange and uh, I love uh, Mr. Dilian. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. Uh, uh, I just uh, want to find out a bit more. Um, what was uh, the hardest in 2012? What was the biggest, let's say, uh, obstacle, the biggest problem that you had? What was the hardest part of the business in 2012? Was it lack of suppliers? Was it not enough stock? Or price crashing? What do you think? Actually, the problem is not the prices, the problem is the supplier. Right. We didn't find the more supplier to can suppose this as like how much stock we wanted because now demand actually, I don't know it will going to brand or no, but it's 45 person like we see it's Samsung moving and after Samsung like... No. So mainly Samsung? Yeah, mainly Samsung is moving. I hope after the Sabbath we can find some good supplier to can suppose this as how much stock we want. But this is the best place to meet them. So what you say is that there is the I demand. That. That's why we are here. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious. Yeah. So you're saying that demand is bigger than the supply. That's a problem. Yes, this is the problem. There's always demand, but the supply. Yeah, is customer the is a lot, but supplier it's mm -hmm. from the hundred like ten. Okay. Yeah. How do you see, let's say, this year, next year, in a short term? Uh, how do you think the business will go? Do you think the smartphones going to be as busy, as popular? Will Samsung take over completely Apple, which is happening already? Do you see any other brands who will be better than what they expect at the moment, like BlackBerry? Will they, let's say, will BlackBerry recover? What do you see in the future? What do you think? Actually, a smartphone, it will be the betters. It will go and grow up. But I love Huawei. I don't know why, but I think it will grow up. 
but still to now I want to taste I wanted to say this I don't know why the Nokia it's not going to Android <laughs> <laughs> we'll see it does everything <laughs> <laughs> because we have a lot of supplier from the Nokia okay, okay. and uh, <laughs> that's it and Huawei actually they spend a lot of money in marketing and I agree with you that they might they're trying to change their approach so they could be a much bigger brand yeah but also I, uh, the tablet things also now it's growing up I think the, some the mobile phone supplier like as we are I think also we have to do this uh, tablet also yeah it's, it's a common uh, trend everybody now looks to do not only phones but tablets because they complement each other yes, so exactly. that's that's the, the future one yeah the future I see this one because I think the from all the school from the everywhere it will remove all the pan the paper the documents the book everything the, and the everything. digital years yes digital years, <laughs> digital years. <laughs> okay that's very interesting what you say um, and last but not least uh, we know each other for a long time you've been a member for a long time yes. and it'd be very interesting for our members our other clients to hear what exactly you find very helpful in GSM exchange if there's nothing you can say nothing but if you think that something is really worth and help your business you can say actually in that conservation it will not be enough uh, to say how much I get from the GSM exchange okay. but just I wanted uh, to say this uh, we have two hours <laughs> We are so happy. Everything is fine. Thanks to like all the GSM team. Uh, they care of us for everything, even for uh, here in the Sabbath. Also for supplier, for customer. Just they are not giving us actually. They didn't say this is supplier or this is the customer. But when we are asking, we we find it from ourselves when we find the customer or supplier, we asking them and they. If they know them, they will give information, yes or no, it's good this guy is, or no. This is the concept we try to make you, to help you make the right decisions. Yeah, but I hope they will give me supplier, but I don't think so. <laughs> well, hope dies last, you know, so you can, you can always hope for that. Just last thing, thanks for the kind words. Yeah, right. uh, how do you find CBIT? It's only the second day, but you see it's picking up already. How do you find the experience? Actually, I've been an exhibitor. Actually, I was not waiting this much. It will be busy, but mm -hmm. it's, I saw it's like very busy and we are so happy because we have a boat here and uh, mm -hmm. we find from yesterday to now around uh, two, three suppliers. Well, that's very good for a yeah, first day. And yeah, from the first day it's very good and I don't know, well, let's we see until Friday. This but is only the beginning, that's all I can say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for this lovely interview. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you. This was Dylan from GSM Exchange Trade Zone from Condon's Boot CB 2013. Thank you.